Hey guys, um, what, a, what a journey it has been. Wow, wow, long journey. Yeah, it was a, it was a long drive. Uh, uh, I wasn't in the best of conditions, no. but, <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. Oh, I've, I've found my driver's license, MJ. You didn't have to oh. do it all. Oh. Um, guys, if you haven't watched our, our drive up to Yangshua, the first episode of this Yangshua series we've, um, we've got out, um, make sure to go back and watch it because we stopped at a Chinese <laughs> petrol station, like Very a picturesque. rest stop. Oh, beautiful in the mountains. Especially but, where we ate. But in, it was so interesting um, to just experience the type of food you get on, on your road trip uh, in China. So much different from back home. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad. A few different things. Uh, but yeah, go check the video out. But the good news is we've checked into this lovely place in Yangshuo called Tea Cozy. Now, just look how beautiful this place is it's a stunning little um, boutique hotel basically there's this road uh, like a little scenic road um, about eight minutes outside of outside of the the center of yeah. Yangshua, the little mm -hmm. town um, and this road it's basically packed with little boutique hotels so not your big corporate type hotels or you know the the, the big fancy places it's just small boutique hotels absolutely lovely place. more of a personal more of a personal place isn't it yeah uh, the guy seems to be really nice. We just met the guy, so uh, we're going to go in. We're going to say we're going to have some Chinese food there today. Yeah, because they, they've yeah. got a, they've got a restaurant here, and um, they've got a swimming pool. Um, hotel rooms are great. <laughs> Don't think we're going to need the swimming <laughs> pool. <laughs> it's a little bit cold in. How the weather? How the weather's changed from being so nice on the way here, and now it's actually I haven't been this cold for a while to be yeah. honest. So um, lovely hotel, great rooms. Um, between the mountains, it's just absolutely fantastic, and I've actually eaten. At this hotel before, um, just eaten everywhere. There isn't a place in the world where MJ hasn't stuck food in that grid. <laughs> and I told Steve, like, listen, this place. Oh, you eaten here before. <laughs> the, the, the local, the local cuisine that they make here, and the local dishes that they serve in the uh, restaurant, it's it's really fantastic. So I said, oh, I told Steve, listen, mate, we need to get here. And, listen, and mate, have... you do that. Listen, mate, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna have the food. Yeah, uh, let's let's That's get some MJ's grub. recommendation again. Um, our first our first meal in Yangshu. I hope you guys enjoy it. Definitely not getting in the pool. And as if by magic, look what we've got. We've got a variety of local dishes. Oh. I'm, oh, my mouth is absolutely look how, watering. Look how good this looks. Look at the crispiness on this pork mm. as well. So, let's go through the dishes. Um, here we've got a crispy pork. Yeah, with all sorts of uh, peppers, garlic. Uh, I'm not sure what some of that black stuff is, but that, I've, just, I've just asked the lady actually, and she says this is a local dish. So, I, I mean, we've obviously eaten this because we've been in China yeah. before, but... I think this is a lot crispier than I've ever had it before. In, in back in Guangzhou, the, the fat's never crispy, is it? Mm, they always have, the, they always have the, the squashy, the, the, the fat. So this is like a, a pork rashes. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Think, like we love back home in, in SA, we love to bry this. Yeah. Pork rashes. Mm -hmm. oh. um, so that look, it looks appetizing. We've got a classic sweet, sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Is it pork? Is it pork? Yeah? Sweet and sour pork. pork. We've got Yangshua style fried, fried rice. rice yeah. this, this is from all over China really. Yeah. I mean you see this a lot. They, they really like they really like cooking with the vegetables. So uh, I don't think it's gonna be as spicy as Guangzhou's it doesn't look but no. uh, cauliflower, pepper, bacon. Uh, little bit they always put a little bit of bacon. We love pig. Uh, and then the, I'm really looking forward to, to this one as well. No, so as you know Steed's um, closely related to pig, so that's why he loves. Um, we, you know what? We were driving. We were driving up yesterday, and we actually went past one of them big trucks carrying all the pigs. And I was like, <laughs> he was like, "Steve, we'll, we'll free your family." And I was, I, I couldn't get a picture <laughs> of it in time because we'd gone past them. But <laughs> and and this is something I've never had in China before. I've actually never seen it. I think I've maybe seen it um, before, but it's it's peppers stuffed with mint pork yeah. and i don't know what that what that gravy is that sauce but oh. that i mean it's it's full yeah, it's full of peppers in there yeah and so i'm looking forward to them all and to pair it we've got from china to the world qingtao chinese beer 
yeah. can't have it any other way. It's not, it's not barbaric, is it? I like it. I mean, it's, it. it's, it's like it. say, it's wet. Mm. Okay, um, I think we need to dig in. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a little base of rice, I think. Mm. Let's get some... Uh, Let's get some rice on the go. And then we can... Uh, what's in this rice you've got? What's that green thing that we don't like? Oh, uh, cucumber. Cucumber, uh, carrots. Um, I can see a little bit of corn in there, egg, ham. Uh, I'll have a little bit. There you go, buddy. Thank you. It's your spoon. And I am going to get myself one of these pieces of pork. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for the pork first. Yeah, it's... Oh, oh, that looks good, doesn't it? It looks so yummy. I'm gonna. That you're gonna have the biggest piece. Hey. <laughs> that you're gonna have the biggest piece. Yeah. <laughs> you went right to the other end to the biggest <laughs> piece. There we go. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I will be can hear that crunch. Oh. Mate, that was a good choice, that. What did I tell you? Mm. Yeah, MJ said he's eaten here before. So where was the other one? It was the Muha burger, the mm. one you'd eaten before. And you were spot on with that one. And you're spot on with this one. That is nice. That, that's great. Oh. Not spicy at all. No. I'm, I'm I'd say maybe like, there's a lot of flavor in it. I'll say maybe like a two out of 10 spice level. Yeah, I'm quite surprised with all these peppers, but they're not the, they're not the, mm -mm. the spices over there, they're just for the flavour instead oh, of the spice. Oh, it is absolutely good. Mm. What should we have a go of next? The, uh, um, let's have a bit of a sweet, sweet and sour pork with some fried rice. Yeah, yeah I'll have a go rice. Oh, it's, it's quite, it's quite soggy. I yeah. thought it might be, I thought it might be a hard one, but. To here, I'm going to put some fried rice on my spoon. I'm going to use a me. piece of uh, sweet and sour pork. Okay, let's see. Mm. Mm. That pork's done really well. Mm. It's like melty. It's soft. Mm. It's not chewy. Nice and soft, I like Steed's belly. <laughs> a lot of the time you can get the sweet and sour, you, you probably know, and the pork's hard mm, it's and tough. dry, yeah. And then you just pick them bits oh, out of your teeth, but see, that's really nice. I'm gonna have to dig into this. That's, that sauce. Yeah. It's nice and sweet. No, and it doesn't come with it doesn't come with pineapple. A lot of the times you see them with pineapple. I love pineapple. I don't mind pineapple. Oh, yeah. I love it in my sweet and sour pork. Mm. Oh, that's honestly so nice. You might be wondering why we're both in jackets today. That's because it's actually really cold, isn't it? It's cold. We're in, it's winter. Um, it's cold in Yangshu because we're a little bit up more. Mm, we're in the mountains. What, uh, like a northwestern direction from Guangzhou? Uh, yeah, never each other. We're northwest. And, um, it's a different province. Yeah. Different province. Um, so it is, it's cold here. But man, <laughs> already the first two dishes oh. we've tasted, like bang, bang on. It's fantastic. It's so good. I'm going to try, the, I'm gonna try the, the cauliflower next. Okay. Let's have a piece of cauliflower. Piece of bacon. Oh, there we go. Should get some vegetables in. Mm. Oh wow. It's a little cold, I thought it was gonna be hot. But the flavours. As when it when it came came it was steaming, but it is so cold I can imagine the, the we, food we cold, actually cools down quick. We actually wanted to do the video outside. And we've, we've probably showed you the pictures. It would have been really picturesque, but you might be able to hear the rain. Uh, it's freezing. I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I'm not going to lie to you. I would say this is the best cauliflower, spicy cauliflower and pork I've had in China. Really? Yeah. Mm. I'm not, I'm not going to lie and say. I, I always, I often order this mm. dish, and I do like it where I get it from back in Guangzhou. So, oh. although it's really nice, I do prefer it a little bit more spicy with a bit of a kick. Oh, a little bit more spicy. Oh, I like this one. This one, oh, it's, for me, it's great. I'm gonna have another piece of this off. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
when we say goodbye it doesn't mean we're going to stop eating no because this is getting devoured today we're going to devour this and we need all our energy for tonight because we've got another great video coming up for you guys later no. mm. I think it's the I think it's the the things in the in the rice of them. You know the uh, what are they called? Cucumber. Really puts me off stuff the cucumber. I'm not a fan. I don't taste this cucumber in the rice, to be honest. Again, I, I absolutely hate cucumber. I hate yeah. it. Um, it's mad. And this is because I love pickles. And pickles are just cucumber sitting in, in brine for a while, but mm. can't stand cucumber. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice and warm as well. On oh, a cold day, that's really warming me up inside. But what a fine day eh? mm. to think that you've got a you've got a really nice little boutique hotel, um, nice rooms as you've as you've seen, um, beautiful landscape around us. But then you've actually got a, a restaurant, which I rate. Oh, it's top top quality. Top quality. Wonder what the Western um, food's like. Food. I have to maybe taste that later t this evening. Mm. We have but, a breakfast as well. Mm. But, wow, well, listen, whoever's the chef in this kitchen really knows how to cook their, their Chinese dishes because this is amazing. They're probably Chinese, the one they saw. They've got a head start on us. <laughs> Although they come call it Chinese food, they, they just call it food. <laughs> oh, come on. That's You're going to break the internet with that one. <laughs> You're gonna break the internet with that one. Do you ever remember those things when you were a kid and someone would twist your arm? And they were called Chinese bands. Oh, we called it uh, the donkey bite. A donkey bite? Yeah. yeah, we used to call them Chinese bands, no idea why. But here they're just called bands. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry for those jokes. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try one of these peppers. Okay, I'm, I'm excited for this. Choose your weapon. Let's take the one on top. Oh, you've gone the, you've gone the cheats way. Oh, you, you've actually infiltrated the pepper. Look at that, that's the proper way. Oh, mate, that looks. Okay, here we go. You never had one of these, no? No. Oh, you are going to be pleased. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? Oh, wow. That's really nice. I mean, if I take this, if I take this out, the meat is... Mm. And it is, it is, it's just like, it's like a, a skinny hamburger. Wow. You won't believe it, like, um, the size that I am, you won't, you won't say I'm a picky eater. But I am actually a picky eater. Really, yeah? Yeah. I, I pick a lot of food and I eat it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you do me. Oh, that was a good one. Like no, one. but... When when you when we were looking at the menu and Steve was out to get some of those paper things, I I wasn't too keen on it. Cause I'm like, I don't know, it, it just it, it looks very different um, than anything I've had before. So I was like, ah, I don't know if um, that's gonna be my vibe, but wow. I've had them in I've had them in Abby's hometown. Hello Abby. I've had them in Abby's hometown. But there they do like they cut the peppers in half. Abby doesn't watch our videos. <laughs> she has got a VPN. <laughs> uh, but they cut the peppers in half and then they put the meat in so it's like half open. Mm. But these are fully enclosed, I don't know. They, they must just... The peppers are so soft. Mm. And again, they're not the ultra spicy peppers, so... Mm -mm. Whereas I can taste, I can, I can taste that they're obviously a little bit, a little bit spicy, but it's so manageable. Oh, and here for me is zero spice. I've got a little bit there, but no. uh, it's it's just it's good flavors. The gravy, I'd really mm. like to know how they make the gravy and what's in it. But maybe we ask them. Yeah, because oh. you know, because and also we can ask our master tomorrow. Because what what are we doing tomorrow as well? We're gonna go on a cooking expedition. Yeah, you don't you don't want to miss that one. <laughs> Who's gonna be the winner? What's your what's your favorite? Uh, we need to say what's our favourite and also, I mean, the price. Mm. Because remember, we are in a boutique hotel. We are in a, a bit of a tourist destination. So you'd, you'd think this would be ultra pricey, really, wouldn't you? The pork dish, it's $10. Yeah. The peppers, it's about $10 as well. 
sweet and sour pork. It's about eight dollars. The plate of young chow fried rice. It's twenty five RMB. So what? That's about four, three four dollars. Four dollars. So ten twenty twenty eight thirty two. And then this was also about four dollars. So thirty about thirty six dollars. Which for Cara Maguire for you that's probably about twenty eight pound. Wow. Uh, which isn't bad. Listen, you're quite good with um, counting. I'm, I'm, good at, I'm good at all sorts of math, mate, yeah. Nice. <laughs> I won math competition 2006, 2007 in Liverpool. Wow, I just had math in school. You, have, you went to school in Liverpool? I oh, went, where, where, where's, where's it going with this one? I wonder where this one's going. <laughs> oh, man, mm. great. This Make is great. good choices. This is this is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm literally gonna eat everything here. Mm. I'll see if I'll, I'll if if, I've, if I'm in a good mood. I'll let you help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just get, I'm just gonna get edged out here. Just like bye. <laughs> this is this is one of those times I'm happy. I'm I'm you know, and big. You did actually say to me before, Steve. I'm really hungry. Can we hurry <laughs> up and do this video? And I was like, oh, I just want to go back to bed, you know. But this is wetting my appetite. These some oh, good choices. It's great. Me? Guys, we're going to finish it, but remember, hit that subscribe button because we've got a lot more to do here in Yangsha. There's going to be great videos and you don't want to miss it. I'll also put the, the if you're in China and maybe you're coming to Yangsha and you want to come and check out Tea Cozy, um, I'm going to put the link in the description down below so you can go and click on that and check them out. Um, and if you're here, come and eat. Come and eat at this place. Tell, it's tell us what you think of the rooms. Tell us what you think of the scenery because this is special, isn't it? Oh. But yeah, if you're here, if you're here, come and eat. Uh, lovely people, really welcome and really yeah. happy we, we chose this place. Mm. Uh, just don't come in December because it's a little bit cold. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna finish this food. So thanks very much. We will see you soon. Yeah. See you for the next one. Cheers, guys. Enjoy it. Bye bye.